human beings are magnificent and creative creatures. We have made thousands of convenient inventions that hundreds of years ago would have been absolutely mind-shattering. Cars, airplanes, computers, and we have had incredible adventures. Almost the entire world has been explored and documented. We have climbed the tallest mountains. We have gone to the moon. And yet, this vending machine won't accept my dollar. I hate vending machines. I'm pretty sure the number of times I have had a decent experience with these things are in the single digits. One time, I wanted to get some candy from my local school vending machine. I don't remember exactly what I wanted, but for the sake of this video, let's just say I wanted some Barbie fruit snacks. It cost $1.50. So I put in two quarters, and then the final step was for me to put my dollar in. But it had a little tear in it. I thought it wouldn't be a problem. but. I put it in, and it came back out. So I put it back in, and two dollars came out. Hey, wait a minute! The vending machine casually denied me service, and also committed a crime on their way. I asked a nearby aide, and they said that there was someone at the office who could replace it for me. So we went on over, and they weren't there. She told me to try again tomorrow, but I didn't really want to bring the broken money back to school, especially considering how inconsistent the vending machine's plug-in status was. And all of that combined means that I still have it here to this day. There it is. Good for it. If the government invades my property, they are going to have some questions. There was this other time I was going to a debate tournament, because I do that sometimes. And I heard that there would be vending machines and stuff there. And because I am a stubborn moron, I brought $4 for vending machine usage. Until I realized that they had multiple vending machines with multiple items. So I asked my friend Calvin, who brought way more money, if I could have $20. Tomorrow I would give him back that amount. Which, don't worry, by the end of the story, I promise I am still a man of my word. With this newly acquired monetary value, I decided to keep things simple. You know, I'd probably want to save some for dinner soon, so I shouldn't waste it all right now. I decided to get a soda. Which, if you know anything from my soda tier list video, it's that I really like Pepsi. And one of the soda machines had Pepsi, and I thought, ooh, I really like Pepsi. Maybe I should get that. So I put in the $2 required for the Pepsi with moderate trouble, but I got it to work and I clicked A1, which is where the Pepsi was, and it told me to pay for it. Strange, I think, as I put in two more dollars. This cycle continues for a few more minutes, and it turns out the vending machine was broken. It was missing a very important component that would rise unhook the product, and have it slide down where the user could grab it. It was missing that! They left it on! They just stole my money! Those janitors knew exactly what they were doing! They deliberately left this on! I begrudgingly went to another vending machine, planning to get another soda instead. And it worked, but because the Pepsi was an A1, remember that? I instinctively pressed A1 to get that soda, and I ended up with a drink I didn't want. What a fun adventure, but wait, I'm not done yet! Turns out, when I walked out of the vending machine room, the listings for the debates were up. Which means that my debate had already started. I rushed back to the cafeteria, threw my crap onto the table, run down to my room, and even with all of that effort, with all of that sorrow and suffering, I was still late. If there was one thing you should take away from this video, it's that if you are dangling on a cliff and a vending machine comes to help you, just let go. It's the much better option. Thank you for watching. And if you didn't like the video, my, my mommy always told me to be nice to everyone and, and that hurts my feelings.